Elder Scrolls Online. Dyeing your gear, your costumes, your armor, whatever you like to call it, and all of them are different. <laughs> Stick with me because I'm going to give you some information on how to get the dyes and why achievements are so important. This is Mystic with Mystic Shepherd Gaming. Hello, my wolf pack, and thank you all for watching. Okay, so I apologize first and foremost about uh, what color Elder Scrolls Online shows up in my videos as, like how bright, how weird. I'm working on it and it'll be two, three weeks and I'm pretty sure I will have it tweaked well enough. So here's the dye station, the outfit station, whatever you'd like to call it. It says a clear and color, a uh, copy color dye menus. Um, erase dies from specific slots. When you unlock a die, the icon uh, that is a lock, you know, the lock icon will be removed and you'll be able to use it. All right, so I'm showing you here, this is her actual gear, my character's gear that she is wearing. I have a costume on over that, so you don't ever see the gear. And that's what costumes do, in case you were curious. Now I'm showing you here you can see is how I should put that. Here you can see Dolmen Deep Blue unlocked by the anchor um, achievement. Basically, that was like, you know, doing so many dolmens. Um, the Soul Shriven and Cold Harbor achievement. Basically, that's making it to Cold Harbor. Um, and these I still have, like, I've been playing this on and off, probably more off than on. I don't know. Some people would say more off than on, my friends, and I have other friends that would be like, no, you're in, you're in here and there, but I don't get to see my friends that much anymore. <laughs> All right. Also, you know, Cold Harbor Ash Black. I mean, you can look, and these are the ones that are unlocked, and the ones that are locked, like Void Pitch, I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I want that black. So I'm going to look that up, and I'm going to see how I unlock that. And how do you look that up? There are several different ways. You can look it up like through your, um, you know, your journal and achievements, or you can just look it up online. Uh, not that I'm trying to lose any of my viewers or subscribers, but you know, I mean, like I don't have any any guides like that yet. So you would need to look that up online if, and and be like, okay, this is the achievement I want. How do I get it? And here's costumes and hats. Now there is also like if you see um, on the right underneath where it says dyes, you can preset certain colors for your costumes, and um, that way you know you don't have to go through the process every time of picking and choosing and and trying to see you know what you want. You can have like a preset. Um, set of colors and you see here where it says dyes no outfit um, you can actually have like certain outfits so many outfits um, with different dyes and just you know put that outfit on and it's already dyed basically and here we are again I'm showing you you know dyeing the different pieces in case you haven't started dyeing your gear in case you just started playing the game or you're like yeah why do i want to do that but then you start noticing hey all these other players look pretty bad to the bone i was going to say another word but you know i try not to cuss in my in my videos <laughs> so and here i'm uh, you can see the different um costumes that i have acquired most of i think i'm you know, I don't even think I've purchased any of these. I think these are all just from playing the game. Through playing the game is how I should put this. And also through, um, you know, the the rare occasions where they give you those, those crates that you can open up, you know, the ones that they sell. They have maybe once a year, sometimes twice a year. And, and don't quote me on that because now that another company has bought them, we'll see how often this happens. But, you know, they were giving away the crown crates, um, you know, for so many days of logging in, you would get like, um, you know, three crates or something like that. So some of this, these costumes I have gotten from that. Jeez, that was the longest explanation on that. That was stupid. I apologize, but maybe it wasn't so stupid. Um, maybe it'll give you hope that, you know, once a year, if you're still playing, you'll actually get some free crown crates, right? You can get mounts and everything else from it. And most of these, though, I'm pretty sure are from um, achievements and going through the main storyline. Now, this 
specific character is my first character I've created. She's my crafter. She's my everything. And she's the one who I use to go after these achievements. Because if you try and do it with multiple characters, well, you're going to spread yourself thin. Why not just compress it all into one character? I also hear that they're changing, um, you know, like, you know, Thieves Guild and things like that, you know, certain things, um, uh, about, uh, you know, like, let's say the Khajiit is the best one to, you know, to be a thief or an assassin or something. They're, they're, I, I forget exactly what it is, but they're going to be changing it where, um, it's going to be a little bit easier for, um, a non like Khajiit character might be able to accomplish these things. And that's probably in the new champion points. I have not delved too much into that. I have put my points in, but you know, anyway, so there's all the different uh, costumes. And now, why are achievements important? Let's see. The achievements are what get you those dies. How do I find them? I just showed you. You go into your journal and you go into achievements. And then you look and see how close you are to it. You know, like this gave me epic violet. Um, and that is epic attire. <laughs> you know, automaton bronze. Uh, you know, you can see I'm showing you superior blue, these achievements and most, most of these you can just accomplish or achieve however you would like to, to say that, um, just by playing the game and consistently, like if you like to, to gather, you know, um, materials or ingredients or uh, alchemy ingredients or, you know, then do that as you're running through each area. Don't just ignore it and don't, don't think, you know, just because you're running running with a friend and they say, oh, don't worry about that. You can do it another time. Don't listen to them, you know, because basically they probably don't have the achievements that you're trying to go for. They don't have half of them. I don't have half of my achievements, but you know what I'm saying? Basically, they're not someone to listen to when it comes to achievements is the best way to put that. Um, look at that. I only have buy a drink and Davin's watch for um, an undaunted companion. I mean, I think I did it in Cold Harbor. I, I believe I did, but maybe it wasn't even with her. You know, so and these are all the different ones that get you the dies. Uh, you know, so that is why achievements are, imp um, you know, important in the game if you would like to dye your gear and costumes. And if you wouldn't, and you're not going to be listening or watching this video, right? The people that are watching this video, it's important to you. So, you know, not dying in a dungeon, you know, making it through, and it would be everybody in the dungeon. You know, those are achievements. Getting through in a certain time frame, that's an achievement. I hope you found this helpful and enjoy Elder Scrolls Online. Please remember to smash that like button, ring the bell to be alerted, and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. Have a great day. Take care of my wolf pack, and I will talk to you next time.